My name is Adam and I'm a backend engineer on Secure Team. In this video, I'm going to give a brief demonstration of using auto remediation with container scanning, which is a feature added in release 12.8. First off, we're going to create a new example project, which we'll name Container Scanning Auto Remediation Demo, and we'll make it publicly accessible. Now that we've created a project, we're going to click, go ahead and click on New File, and we'll add a Docker file. I'm going to copy the Docker file from this buffer, paste it in here, give it a name, and we'll commit this file. This Docker file is based on the Alpine 3.7 image because it happens to have known vulnerabilities which we can use to demonstrate the remediation feature. Now that we have a Docker file, we'll go ahead and add another file, this time a gitlabci.yaml file. This GitLab YAML, GitLab CI YAML file has two stages, a build stage and a test stage. The build stage is responsible for building the Docker container specified by the Docker file that we previously added. Once a container has been built, it's then pushed to the container registry for the project. Once the build stage is complete, the test stage is then executed, which performs a vulnerability scan of the Docker container by using the container scanning template. You'll notice in the container scanning job that git strategy has been set to fetch. This is necessary for remediation support because the container scanning tool must have access to the Docker file which is contained in the repository of the project. I'll now go ahead and commit the changes. So now that we've added both the Docker file and a GitLab CI YAML file, we can navigate to the project pipeline view and wait for the build stage to complete. So now that the build stage has succeeded and successfully tagged and pushed this image to the container registry, we can click through and go to the container scanning stage. The container scanning job has now completed and we can see that a vulnerability was found with identifier CVE 2019-14697 for the MUSL package. If we switch back to the pipeline view, we can see that the security tab is now available. Clicking on this tab shows the vulnerability discovered during the container scan. We can now click on the more info icon of the vulnerability which opens up a new dialog containing the details of the vulnerability. In this dialog there's a button named resolve with merge request. If we click this button, a new merge request will be created which is populated with the details of the vulnerability that's being fixed. We can switch to the changes tab to see the remediation that was applied. As you can see from this diff, the version of the MUSL library was updated to a version which doesn't have any vulnerabilities. If we now switch back to the container scanning job in the test stage of the pipe pipeline, We can see now that the container scanning stage is completed, there are now no unapproved vulnerabilities. We can now switch back to the merge request and click on the merge button to commit this change to the repository. If we then look at the files in the repo, We notice that the Docker file has received a commit titled Fix Vulnerability CVE 20191469 in MUSL. And clicking on the Docker file shows that the file was automatically modified to include the upgrade command necessary for removing the vulnerability. This now concludes the video. Thanks for watching.